simply teach you or show you how to create and export a carousel yeah so let's dive into it so what i want to do first of all is to write the test the test how to how to create and export a carousel Okay, so uh, a carousel is is a a series of designs, you know, a series of designs that are usually together that are long. Do you get? So you must have seen something like that on on Instagram or or somewhere else. Do you get a series of designs that tell the same story? but are extended into uh, um, um, into that series of designs yeah so this is it let's say this is our slide the first slide so let's put this in a box slide one i'm just playing around you know just to show you how to create it okay slide one Okay, so yeah, so we have our first slide here. Yeah, so now how do we create the second slide? How to do that is by clicking on this, come to this place, then double click on it. If you are using mouse, you can double click on this arrow, but if you are using your mouse pad, that is the one that is usually on the laptop, you can use two fingers. So click on this crop, then drag this out, just extend it. For the sake of this story, I'm going to be creating two carousels. Do you get? So it's already loaded, converting it here is what I wanted. Yes, so what you need to do now is to, we need to now measure it. We need to measure it. And how do we do that? We need to come here, select your rectangle to click on your screen, then put 1200 by 1200, depending on the size you want the carousel to be. But I want it to be a social media dimension. Do you get? So 1200 width, 1200 height. So click OK. So that will automatically pop up, you know, a rectangle, a rectangle shape for you. So, I want to align it to the left, done already. Yeah, so just go get a ruler. This is a ruler right here, and if you don't know how to get a ruler, just click on Control, Control or Command R, and it will bring your ruler out for you. So, yes, I have it. So just drag, drag this to the end of the ruler, yes. And as you can see, I have a little space by the side of my yellow shape. And I would like to enclose that because I just want to carousel. So just go back to your to your crop tool. Then just adjust it a little bit. Yeah, so that is it. We have it, although it's still remaining in the D2, but we don't have to we don't have to perfect it. Since this is a tutorial, and I would like to uh, I would like to duplicate duplicate my slide or the background of my slides just for you to fill that place up i hope you are getting it and to do that all you need to do is click on alt click on alt then drag the background Okay, yeah, so we have the second slide now. So let's select these two elements. Bring them here. Did you see what I just did? So let me quickly show you what I did just now. I 
after selecting these two icons that I want to duplicate and take to the next page, what I did was I click on my option or Alt key, then I left click, then I drag. Do you see? So that's how to do that. Yeah. Okay, so this is just to say this is the second slide, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. You can perfect it at your end. Then let's duplicate this as well. Okay, so let us, let us call this one second slide. Yeah, second slide. Okay. Okay, so now let's say I, I have done everything I needed to do, and now what I need to do is uh, export it, click on it, so that it will give you more option. Select slice tool. After selecting slice tool, just come to slices from guides, click on it. So, and what that will do for you is that it will help you to slice your carousel. We need to slice this first before we can export it. So what this will do is that it will slice it and it has sliced it already. You can see number one, number two, which was not there before. So to export it now, we need to go here. And, and the reason for, for the line or for the ruler is that the ruler will serve as the cut, you know, for the carousel. So click on file, then export, then save for web save for web so all you need to do is just it will pop this up then you click on save after clicking on save it will now request for where you want it to be so let us how to create create carousel Okay, so then you can select where you want it to go to. I think I would want it to go to desktop. And then click on this. So now we need to go to go to your finder, then click on desktop. Yeah, so this is it. It has already created the yeah so just ensure you you go to where you want it to save to then you find this this folder there yeah then that's it you are good to go this is our image here how to create and the second slide yeah and that will be it for today if this video has been helpful kindly subscribe to this channel like share with your friends and that will be it for today bye for now